Hi, I'm Laura Ewing, Teespring's Head of Trends, and welcome to our first YouTube mini-series, Superfan Revolution, where we'll be exploring Generation Z and the fast-approaching future of online communities. Our first episode, The State of Youth, looks to help you understand the world's fastest growing demographic, Generation Z, what defines them, how they spend their money, and how you, as a content creator, can reach them by selling through Teespring. So to kick off, let's explore some of the mindsets that define Generation Z. Gen Z were born between 1995 and 2015, so today they are currently aged between 4 and 24 years old. Gen Z is already on track to become one of the largest generations of consumers by 2020 and will account for 40% of all consumers in the USA and globally there will be over 2.56 billion of them. Gen Z were born into global, political, social and economic turmoil. They've been raised by Gen X realists, which explains this cohort's sensible and realistic outlook and also their need for honesty and to be emotionally engaged. It also links to Gen Z's endless thirst for relatable content. For example, hashtag mood has been used more than 66 million times on Instagram alone. Being able to relate to others and finding a community of like-minded friends is extremely important to Gen Z. Also known as digital natives, They've been online since birth and don't know a world without YouTube or social networking communities. More than half claim to have made new friends online. This pragmatic outlook also gives Gen Z a drive to succeed. They believe that becoming successful is important and that it's dependent on hard work, with 69% of them saying that achievement has nothing to do with luck. So now we understand a little bit more about how Generation Z think, we can begin to explore how they behave as consumers. Within families raising Gen Z children, we're seeing that the lines between childhood and parenthood are increasingly blurred. Parents are watching the same TV shows, listening to the same music, and even wearing the same clothing brands as their kids. 85% of kids agree that they have a closer relationship with their parents and for many parents, making sure that their children are in on the latest brands and products is top of mind, with 33% paying close attention to trends to make sure that their child fits in at school. And because of this tighter bond, pester power is more effective than ever before as parents are less able to say no. In the USA, Gen Z kids world $1.2 trillion in annual purchasing power. 84% of kids say that they remember the ads they've seen and as a result, 73% of parents have purchased the requested product. We also know that one in four have access to their parents' online store accounts, such as Amazon. So Gen Z kids are heavily influencing family purchasing decisions with three in four parents agreeing. And because of this, parents are actually spending more. However, not all Gen Z kids rely on their parents for money, and this seems to change once they become teenagers and their entrepreneurial spirit kicks in. 77% of teens in the US are already earning their own money by the time they're 21, and social media platforms like Pinterest claim to have seen a 690% increase in searches for side hustles. Facebook has also seen rapid growth in conversations around ways to monetize from social media, particularly from its young female audience. So what are Gen Z spending their money on? According to the UK Office of National Statistics, Gen Z are spending less than the previous millennial generation. The study reveals that girls start spending more than boys as they enter their teens and they are more heavily influenced by products they've seen on social media. Collectively, particularly with those aged around 15, they spend an average of £25 or $30 US dollars a week on clothes and shoes. And as the most photographed generation ever in history, some 38% of teens in the US even have a selfie budget allowance to help them get more likes on social media. 
We know that around 85% of Gen Z audiences are using social media to learn about new products and unlike millennials, many of them prefer cool products over experiences. Teens, especially girls, are more likely to watch product reviews than any other type of video, with 77% saying they go to YouTube to watch. Haul videos and unboxing videos with creators unwrapping new products are extremely popular. An unboxing video, for example, shows a real person opening and talking about a product, and this appeals to Gen Z's need for honesty and is stripped back of any major marketing hype. As we draw to the end of this episode, and with these learnings in mind, how can Teespring help you reach your Gen Z fans? Get your side hustle on and sell merch that connects you to your Gen Z fans. Teespring is a free platform with no upfront cost or risk. We handle everything, from printing, to shipping, to customer service. With 60% of Gen Z teens favouring cool products, Teespring lets you create and sell a wide range of merch that your fans will love. We can help you sell cool custom hoodies and t-shirts as well as more quirky products like plushies and die-cut stickers, which we know sell well to Gen Z fan bases. Custom merch is a great way to diversify and increase your revenue through your social media presence. And it lets you give back to your community by letting fans wear their support for you in real life. Unboxing videos revealing your Teespring merch are great ways to reveal new designs to entice and excite your fans. You've worked for it, so now you've earned it. Let's get you paid. Unlike many other platforms, at Teespring you don't have to wait until the end of the month to get paid. We'll send you your earnings whenever and as frequently as you want. Our next episode will be Fandoms and Fantail, where we'll look closely at online communities and the Teespring tools and strategies you can use to connect and sell more effectively to your fandom. Thanks for tuning in. For more information about getting started on Teespring, check out our creator guide in the link below.